Yes, bank scam surfaced. The Republic Media Network led the investigation. But the closer we look, the more there is to the scam. Now, the ED charge sheet has put on record Rana Kapoor's statement, a statement that has left the Vadra Congress red-faced. The Vadra Gandhi's role is in focus, and Priyanka Vadra apparently got 2 crore rupees to buy a painting from Rana Kapoor at the insistence of Congress leaders. It's all there. The name of Milind Dora has come up. He's not saying anything about it. We've been asking him repeatedly, not one word about that. What really is the truth here? Let's debate. A yacht in London, bungalows in the poshest parts of the capital and investments in hotels across the globe. Life was good for the high-flying Yes Bank founder Rana Kapoor. That was until the Yes Bank scam unraveled in the year 2020. Two years since, the deeper the agencies dig, the more the dirt emerges. The ED has found that the key accused siphoned off funds worth over 5,000 crore rupees through suspicious transactions. Cornered by the ED, Rana Kapoor is not holding back anymore. The supplementary ED chart sheet records his statement, a statement that has got the Vadra Congress frazzled. Apart from calling it a forced sale, Rana Kapoor in the Enforcement Directorate talks about the kind of pressure he came under allegedly by Milin Diora and the Diora family. He says, simultaneously and referring to Milin Diora and Murli Diora, he says they tried to convince me that it will also not permit me ever to build a relationship with the Gandhi family if he didn't buy the MF Hussein painting. And he says, Murli Diora also told me that any deviation on my part for lack of closure of the deal will definitely prevent me, will prevent me from getting awarded Padma Bhushan, for which, according to him, I was highly deserving at that time. The sale of this painting of Rajiv Gandhi, presented as part of Congress's centenary celebrations by M.F. Hussain in 1985, has put the spotlight on Priyanka Vadra. The BJP is demanding answers. Congress should be able to answer the question. Which of the U.P.A. government in the U.P.A. was in the U.P.A. Congress was in the paintings of the U.P.A. What was the game? Give us a little bit. Sonia ji, darling, to shayad desh ko kuch pata chal paaye. And the Congress is evasive. A person who is behind bars for years, whose 20, 30 bail applications have been rejected, who is called a crook and a fraudster, makes allegations about dead people, and the government is jumping with joy only because it suits their political angle. They want to keep the pot boiling for 2022 regarding a transaction of 2010 when neither Murli Devra is here to deny it nor Ahmed Patel sadly is here to deny it. It is the Vadra Gandhis who must answer if they were bartering Padma Bhushans for personal gain. But not a word has been uttered so far. Let's debate.